Well, hello YouTube. Captain Dave, Sport Fishing YouTube channel here. Uh, what I want to show you is something that I posted on my community page on YouTube. Just put a picture up and a little brief um, description, I guess you could say, of it. Uh, got it right here in my safety equipment box right off of the boat. It's kind of a unique product. It's been out for a while, but it's new to me. And the reason it's new to me is because I had the opportunity to purchase one because of the fact that I got a little bit of money, a little bit of chump change, I guess you could call it, from all the people who have patronized my Amazon page. My Amazon page is called the Tools of the Trade page, and the links are always below in the video description. So, what we're going to cover here is a thing called Serious Signal. And what it does is it replaces your handheld flares for emergency situations and distress while out on your boat. Coast Guard approved. All right, well, here it is. I mentioned it on my uh, community page, put up a link about it. This is the Sirius Signal SOS white flashing uh, beacon. And this is going to replace now all of these. These are your handheld signal flares. Look at how many. There's four there. Look at all this. This is ones that I have collected over the years. I mean, I got bags full of them. Why? In case of the apocalypse, I'm ready. I got some serious signaling here. But... Do you realize how dangerous all these are while on your boat? Okay, and it's pouring rain outside right now. And it's early in the morning and it's already pouring rain. But look at all these flares. You know how much money this is? This is anywhere from 30 to $40 for a pack like that from Orion. 30 to 40 dollars and guess what for 89 dollars 89.99 90 bucks on my amazon tools of the trade page where i have all my items that i review and i talk about this is what you get that is now replacing all of these it's a floaty light comes with batteries and it's a beacon, an SOS beacon. Wow, can you believe it? That United States Coast Guard has actually approved something that's part of the 21st century. There's a video out there that if I can find it, I will put it in the link below about using flares, using meteor guns. This is, I do not believe this is not replacing your meteor gun. Okay, for far offshore. I'm not really sure. I'm just showing you. I just picked this up. This is brand new to me. It just came. I've got this off of Amazon with my little change. My little change that I get from everybody who's patronized my Amazon page. All right, so I had a little, little, little change to put with this. It was $90. Uh, I got it Prime. It came in two days, but it replaces all this. I mean, you could, this is an apocalyptic amount. I could signal people for the rest of my life if these still work, but that is for fireworks right now. It comes with a day signal flag, distress day signal flag. This one's all wrapped up. You know, I'll show it to you. It's one, it's, here's my second one. This is a Jim Bowie Cal June, right? It's got the day stress, the stress signal, symbols on it, circle, square, orange. Take this, put it on the end of a gaff, put it on the end of a fishing rod, put it up very high, and display this during de the day. If you're in distress, I carry two of them. I got this with this and a whistle. 
So, here's how it works. You undo it. This is a very expensive flashlight, is what this turns out to be. There is the beacon, the LED beacon in there. I'll go over the stats here in a minute. All right, and then it takes three C cell alkaline batteries. They come with it. They should come with it. It's got double O-rings. It's all super waterproof, very lightweight, positive points up, floaty collar with all the regulations and all the instructions on it. You make sure it goes over those O-rings down in here. And when it's off, it's twisted loose a little bit and then to turn it on, you tighten it and it'll flash SOS. See, wonderful, huh? It's unbelievable that finally, and this is several years old, it's amazing that now the United States Coast Guard is literally stepping into the 21st century. You can get, you can burn your boat down with these. You can, you can burn yourself, okay? Let's say you're out on the water and you've got, you get disabled in some way. You hurt yourself, right? And there's your 12-year-old boy, girl, gr your, your grandma's on the boat. It doesn't matter. You say, go get the box. Go get the, the, the uh, distress safety box, and pull out the SOS light and turn it on. Well, <laughs> that's a lot easier than going and say, okay, grandma, okay, uh, you know, your kids, um, go grab the flares and uh, light the flares, all right? You know, with the flares, it's kind of a joke. I've always thought this was a joke, right? Go ahead and take the flares, pull this off, right? Take your, um, I don't even know what the hell you do anymore with these. Oh, you got to pull the cap off, I believe. There's the striker under here. Yeah, let's see. Okay, pull the striker off. Okay, well, there it is. It's old. And it's all, it's, the glue is all stuck to it. Okay, take your striker and strike across here and hold it out over the boat so you don't burn the boat down. Or when you strike this, make sure as that's dripping off the end of there that you're holding it outside your boat so you don't burn your boat down. All the while, you cut your hand, you broke your arm, who the heck knows, right? Finally, the United States Coast Guard is getting into the 21st century. These things, I've hated them. They're expensive. And believe it or not, I've never used one in my entire life. So I'm not even that familiar with them. Okay, see what it says? Remove black cap, strike it. So let me show you how easy that this is going to be able to work. What you're gonna do is you're gonna twist the top, you're gonna to turn it on, and you take it to your highest point. On my boat, the highest point would be in my rocket launcher. And you're gonna stick it in there like that. If you happen to be in the water, it floats and it floats up. So that's all you need to do. Another thing that they give you, of course, is the flag. They give you this giant daytime distress flag, right? And it's got grommets on the side here. Very easy to take something like this and attach it to a gaff pole or anything, a fishing rod. Put up your flag, take your flag, stick it in the highest point on your boat, be it a rod holder, be it just a rod holder, or up on your top of some 
some form or shape, all right? I carry zip ties on my inside, my orange safety box that you just, well, I'll show it to you. I carry all kinds of safety items besides the required items, all right? So you could take this flag and put it up during the day. You could have this attached to a gaff. Zip tie, I got my gaff right here. The higher you are, the better. Take this and uh, zip tie it to your gaff. Take your gaff and stick it up in there and you're even gonna get higher elevation. The higher you are, the more it's gonna be seen. It's for 10 mile distress signal. You could take this and zip tie it onto your gaff pole, onto a fishing rod. And you could have a rod with the flag flying, right? And there you go. You got all instead of putting an, I think this is a fancy word, an incinerary device on your boat. It just makes sense. This thing's about 90 bucks. It costs money to be Coast Guard approved. Complies with the United States Coast Guard regulations. Takes uh, type C ba alkaline batteries for emergency use only. And it's got the instructions. Just twist the lens for on and off. Kids can do it, grandma can do it. It doesn't matter. But can the kids or grandma shoot a flare off to the side of the boat without burning themselves or burning them burning the boat down so let's go back to my emergency kit and i'll show you what i carry all right this is my emergency box that i carry on the boat i carry uh two walmart usb rechargeable led lights two of them these are also battery banks to, if I needed an emergency, somehow I carry a USB with me also to uh, charge cell phones. Right there, right? I could charge cell phones, charge my GoPros. All right, there you go. On, low, and this also is blinking. It's not SOS, but it blinks. These things are invaluable. I don't care about having boats or lights under my top and all that. That doesn't help me look down into my console, under my engine cover, down in my bilge. You got to think, put yourself in the worst scenario possible. And of course I do carry flashlights and everything like that. But I've worked on my boat with these on, on low power for five hours. I mean, these things are great. And I don't even think Wally's World sells them as nice as this anymore. These were cheap. Okay, another thing that I carry, uh, this is a personal flotation device light. This is just a spare. I've got every, every life preserver on my boat, my Type 1 PFDs. Every one has this light beacon on it. It doesn't flash. It's just a marker light. Okay, this is just a spare. Uh, let's see, just in case, because I have it, I've got my Meteor uh, shotgun shell. These are all old, I know. Oh, you're not supposed to carry in old, old ones. But these are old, and this is in case I'm, you know, off, I'm offshore. I don't go a lot offshore, but I do a little bit. And here's brand new ones, okay. So, this is for handheld flares. If you're still required to have something like the shotgun shell 12 gauge meteor aerial flares, these are so much more safer than these stupid things. I carry various zip ties right in here. And that's for attaching that flag or this to a gaff pole, just to have them right here. This is an adjustable, reusable. All right, zip ties. I've got other zip ties on the boat. And just in case there's that 17-year-old Coastie that's out on his own here and he doesn't know, here is the packaging for 
the SOS light that's replacing your handheld flares. I'm carrying this with me. One time purchase, never expires. Complete compliance kit, flag and whistle. US, US Coast Guard requirements. It's got the code of federal, federal regulation there. All right, so improves brightness and flotation. Uh, winner of multiple awards, legal replacement for flares, lifetime limited warranty, made in America. So you got 75 candela uh, visibility, up to 10 miles, 60 hours, one per boat, and it floats. Batteries included, comes with the whistle and the daytime distress flag. Here's the most important part that I wanted right here. Meets U.S. Coast Guard requirements for all recreational boats, uninspected fishing vessels, and uninspected passenger vessels. That's me. I'm an uninspected passenger vessel. Flashes SOS over 60 hours. When it really boils down to it, these are dangerous. Your kids may not know how to operate these if you are disabled in some way but you show this to your kids right you show this to your wife you show this to your neighbor your fishing partner anything and all they have to do is just turn it and stick it up high stick it up as high as possible or attach it to a gaff or anything like that god forbid you end up in the water and it, it now it'll float. Put your hand in the lanyard. Hold this above your head. No burning your boat down. No nothing. So thank you to everyone who has patronized my Tools of the Trade page. This is on there right now. It's where my Tools of the Trade page, if you don't know what that is, I'm an Amazon affiliate. It's how I purchase items to do videos and FYIs and how-tos with items that I like. Be it pocket knives, which I'm a knife freak, right? Or items like this of significant importance. And I make little pennies, little pennies over time. I'm keeping this in here so I've got the details. I'm keeping it in my box. So I was able to purchase this with the pennies that accumulated from me being an Amazon affiliate. And I thank every single person who's ever gone to my affiliates, Amazon Tools of the Trade page, and made a purchase. Thank you. Thank you very, very much because now I feel like I'm in the 21st century. Can you imagine us being in distress? And I don't know. I get where I broke my arm. I don't know. Let's, let's always go with worst case scenario. And I'm trying to tell customers of mine how to pull these out. Read the bag. Oh, ignite it over the side. What happens if they don't work, you know, this, keep batteries in here. Change them out every 12 months is what they recommend. So this is a wonderful product. It's not brand new. It's been out a while. But now that I have it in my hands, I really recommend this thing. I really like it. And look at the links below in the video description, okay? That's where you're going to find my Amazon Affiliates page where there's a direct link to this and multitude of other cool products that I have reviewed and talked about, okay? And I'm not saying I'm going to be able to find it, but I found a great video on how to use these things and the dangers of these done by like CETO. If I can find that video, I'm going to put that video in the link below also. This is a game changer so thanks for watching i appreciate everybody who's ever gone to my amazon affiliates page thank you very much and this has just been a product overview of the sos 
white Sirius signal light. So, okay, <laughs> I'll see you on the next one.